I am Kuching, Yuhung, of the Liyue Qixing. We live in an era of change, as the old order that has existed for a thousand years is about to be rewritten. Join me. Let us bear witness to this historical moment together. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. I'm all for work-life balance, but I think this is pushing it. In adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Quite a downpour. Nothing will get done until it clears. Let this be a lesson to those who yesterday said I'll do it tomorrow. Thunder and lightning can be quite frightening, but don't worry. Liyue's storm and fire defenses are second to none. Don't worry. Snowfall on this scale is no impediment. We can keep moving. Ah, the sun is out. Our work's done for the day. Shall we take a stroll? Morning. Time to set the tone for the rest of the day. So if you're still feeling sleepy, shake it off. I'm not in the habit of napping at noon, but don't let that stop you if you're feeling tired. I'll give you a wake-up call in, say, three minutes' time. The lights are coming on now that the night is setting in. <sighs> Another delightful day draws to a close. Sleep well. Me? Uh... I still have a handful of things on my to-do list, but I'll call it a night once they're done. If you feel strongly about something, you should speak up and take action. That's the philosophy I live by. My role is to manage real estate and construction in Liyue. Sure, Liyue is a vast place with abundant resources. But without proper planning, and if too much focus is placed on short-term profit, a great many things can go wrong. What do you think has kept Liyue going over the last millennium? Rex Lapis? I disagree. We mortals have to fight for survival whatever happens. He just feels the need to come down here and poke his nose into everything that's going on for some reason. <laughs> People don't like to think about this, but should we really be trusting him to be an expert in everything? After I took on the management of so many of Liyue's affairs, I had a newfound respect for Rex Lapis and all his hard work over the last millennium. Recently, every time I come up against a difficult problem with no obvious solution, I find myself thinking, what would Rex Lapis do? Maybe he really is an expert in everything, and I've got more left to learn than I realized. You know why I like you? It's because you don't believe something just because it was said by a god. You make up your own mind. You ask the questions everyone else is too cowardly to ask. And when you don't get an answer, you keep looking till you find one. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Your way is definitely the right way. Who says gods don't make mistakes anyway? It's not difficult, you'll see. Just give it a try. What if you try and it doesn't work out? No, I don't believe that will happen. You've never let me down before. You don't seem the type. I used to be so naive. I genuinely believed I was on par with Rex Lapis. Seems I really overestimated myself. Hmm? Yes. You're right. I have plenty of self-confidence in other areas, so why not in this? I can catch up with him. I will catch up with him. I just need to keep my chin up, keep trying, and keep learning. If a vision means the approval of the gods, then I don't see why I should want one. In fact, I find it quite insulting. It's like trying to say everything I've ever achieved is all thanks to the gods looking out for me. Well, I got to where I am today through my own hard work. The gods had nothing to do with it. Oh, so... Rex Lapis wanted me to have power beyond the average mortals so that I can be a great leader? Huh. I like to think I'd do an admirable job even without his blessing. Yeah. I'll show him. I won't give him any reason to be disappointed with me. In addition to my work with the Liyue Qixing, I do a lot of work for the public, too. Mostly the feedback is positive, but whenever I propose something like adding an extra hour to the workday, I come up against very strong resistance. I'm too forward-thinking, I suppose. 
Maybe I should start with a half hour instead. What do you mean, Geo Archon paraphernalia? You're not suggesting my bedroom is full of that stuff, surely? I'm not a child anymore. Although... Okay, I did buy a couple of Rex Lapis figurines recently, but... But they're just to keep me on the straight and narrow. Look, just because I own an idol or two does not mean I idolize him, okay? I once heard a Mondstadt fable about courage being what it takes for birds to learn to fly. But I think you must first possess a yearning for the boundless skies before you would have any inclination, let alone the courage, to spread your wings and try to fly. For me, Liyue is that boundless sky. The gentleman from the Wangsheng funeral parlor? Hmm. Clearly he's an extremely learned individual, and I do have a lot of respect for him. But his mindset is too traditional for me. He thinks in the same tired old terms as Rex Lapis did. If he were more of an original thinker, I'm sure he'd be a great asset to me in reaching my objectives. That captain is always flouting the rules, and her personality really rubs people the wrong way. That said, the Crux fleet is indispensable to Liyue Harbor. It's a bit of an art, knowing when to enforce the rules and when it's in everyone's interest to be more lenient. <laughs> Thing is, the Tianquan is supposed to be the one enforcing the rules, but she always seems to be too busy. We do work together, but we couldn't be more opposite personality-wise. To her, Liyue Harbor is nothing more than a marketplace, and she'll do anything as long as it makes money for her. Doesn't she have any principles? Hmm... Or maybe turning a profit is her principle. Since Rex Lapis left us, we've actually found some common ground. I was quite judgmental of her in the past, and we still fundamentally disagree on a number of issues. But in the current climate, I have to say I count her as a comrade in arms. <laughs> Having said that, I ordered a Lucent Crescent from Mingxing Jewelry three months in advance, and when it was finally time to pick it up, they told me Ningguang had bought up the last few months' worth of Lucent Crescents for herself by paying double the price. <sighs> she can be such a pain. You know what? I think her music rocks. Too noisy by traditional standards, for sure, but I don't care. Good music is good music, and good music should reach the widest possible audience. Everyone has faith in Dr. Baiju's medical skills. He's the right guy to go to when you can't figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, the rumors, you say? The only one that I know for a fact is true is how disgusting his medicine tastes. It's not just the kids who find it bitter. It's left me with some horrible memories, too. Yeah, the up-and-coming chef from Wanmin Restaurant. I get that she's gifted and everything. I just think her cooking can be a bit... hit or miss. I was all ready to hire her for a small banquet once and give her full control over the menu. But the amount of lizard and slime in her sample dishes quickly turned me off that idea. I've heard a story. He was born into a well-to-do family, but wasn't keen on the family business. So he now devotes his time to being an envoy of justice. I have huge respect for that. Not everyone has the guts to follow their dreams when it means breaking with the long-standing family tradition. I feel like now that we live in the age of mankind's rule, it's time for the legendary boy Adeptus to be released from duty. We no longer need a defender of that kind, because we are capable of working through the challenges we face on our own strength. Who knows what Rex Lapis must have done to inspire such blind devotion from Ganyu. But her reluctance to be critical is not without its advantages. In the workplace, she'll carry out my instructions to the letter, even when I can tell she has her reservations. It's a good attitude to have as a career professional. I find myself getting a second opinion from her a lot these days. Lots of things come up that I just have no idea about. And of everyone in Liyue, she's probably the most familiar with Rex Lapis. <laughs> I feel a bit awkward, though, because I used to be openly disparaging of Rex Lapis in front of her. But she doesn't seem to mind, so I guess I've got nothing to worry about. When you're passing by Huyu Tea House and have to squeeze your way through the biggest crowd you've seen in your life, that's when you know Yunjin's on stage performing. There's not a merchant in Liyue who wouldn't buy up the place if they had the chance, 
and Yunjin's the reason it would be worth every mora. Since Rex Lapis left us, the question of Li Yue's future has been on my mind constantly. In addition to reviewing his own past deeds, I've been researching the other Archon's modes of governance too. Mondstadt's god is the one who baffles me the most, though. How exactly do any of his actions contribute to the longevity of Mondstadt? It's completely beyond me. The way I see it, the law is a summary of things done the right way in the past. However, it should also be continuously adapted and improved to match the needs of the present. Given that Liyue is about to undergo a radical transformation, legal talent is in great demand. Hmm, with an assistant like Yenfei, I could spare myself a great deal of trouble. Miss Yelan's ancestors used to serve the Qixing. My grandfather and her family have had academic collaborations in the past. All in all, she's reliable, efficient, and provides important intel to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I, uh, can't say for sure how Miss Yelan actually gets her intel, however. You want to know more about me? Sure. Let's start with the principles that are central to the role of Yuhung. Once you've memorized the hundred or more contractual obligations of the position, you'll know my hopes and dreams like the back of your hand. Nothing exists independently, and there's nothing you can do to change that. So, when you drag your heels on one thing, you're actually causing chaos for a whole bunch of other connected issues, too. That's why I firmly believe you should never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. I'm also a very impatient person and can't stand procrastinating, so that's also part of it. Never mince your words with me, okay? Yu Hung's just a title. I'll not have you treading on eggshells around me just because of my status. Say what's on your mind, always. That's what makes you unique. And it's the thing I admire about you the most. We've been on our fair share of adventures together, haven't we? The more time we spend together, the more I think that you're the person of my dreams and... Huh? Why so shocked? You're a crucial part of my dreams for the new Li Yue. The time has come for humanity to make its mark in the land of the Geo Archon. Turns out that was quite an ambitious statement after all. But I want you to make me a promise. Come and visit when the new Liyue Harbor is born. I will show you around. After all the help and support you've given me along the way, you deserve to see Liyue reborn with your own eyes. I owe you that much. That indulgent feeling of being spoilt for choice between countless different varieties. That to me is the appeal of shopping. It's great that the quality of life in Liyue is improving for everyone. But one downside is the growing number of people who are happy to reap the rewards without doing their fair share of the work. The Liyue Qixing did not put in all this effort to create a more prosperous society just so people like them can loaf around. It makes no logical sense to be greedy with food. But for me, all rationality goes out the window when there's golden shrimp balls involved. They're just irresistible. The taste of a single golden shrimp ball brings me so much joy that all the stress of work just melts away. Everything has a certain way it should taste. I won't touch anything that tries to break the mold, so no salted almond tofu for me. And no sweetened lotus seed and bird egg soup either. It's just a total waste of perfectly good ingredients. Yep, that's right. <sighs> My favorite. The taste is fairly standard, but I can see you worked hard at it. It, uh, seems quite a ways off from how it's supposed to taste. Happy birthday! I've got a very special gift for you. It might look like an ordinary old lantern, but this one runs on electro energy and stays alight for a really long time. For those times when you need a little extra light in your life. When your heart is set on something, you get closer to your goal with each passing day. Great! Having another trick up my sleeve gives me more flexibility in rapidly changing circumstances. Yesterday's experiences make me stronger today. And most of those experiences are ones that I share with you. I feel I have grown immensely from my travels with you. If, one day, I finally manage to make my dreams a reality... I wonder... Will you still be there by my side?